Hi everyone, Harris here with iDownloadBlog and this is the Logitech Slim Folio Pro case for the iPad Pro 11 and the iPad Pro 12. Now Logitech's been making great keyboard cases for the iPads and iPad Pros for many years and they've made one of my favorite keyboard cases for the old iPad Pro so I was very excited to test this one out for the new iPad Pro so let's go ahead and take a look. So this is Logitech's Slim Folio Pro for the iPad Pro and the name is misleading because as you can tell the first thing I notice is just how bulky this is. When we compare it to what Apple's keyboard case is obviously without the iPad in it but you can just see that stature difference is kind of crazy. So a big big difference there. But the most obvious thing about all of that thickness is the protection. And this is a shock absorbing rubber that goes around. It feels durable, doesn't feel like cheap rubber, and it will definitely keep your iPad protected. It's very solid, all the corners are protected. So if you're worried about damaging your iPad, this is actually a great keyboard case to do that because no matter where you drop it, there will be a lot of shock absorbing rubber with it. Now on the front of the case, you can see a flap, and this has two purposes. One, just to make sure that the front cover stays on the iPad, so it locks in there. But then there's also a pen holder, so you can either put your Apple Pencil inside of the slot, like this, or you can fit something like the Logitech Crayon in there. And this is obviously going to be designed to fit their Logitech Crayon. So if you wanted to do that, it will fit as well and it will still lock in. But of course, there's also just the slot up top you can still use for the Apple Pencil. Now, when you open it up, you can see the keyboard and the iPad. Now, this is Bluetooth, despite this strip right here, which would make you think that it is a smart connector keyboard. Logitech has opted away from that this year, maybe because of the licensing cost, maybe for some other reason, but now it activates automatically when you connect it in via the magnets. So it acts similar to a smart connector case, but it still operates via Bluetooth. And as soon as you put your keyboard into it, it'll put it in pairing mode when you first enter it. So it'll be a very easy process for installing this case and getting it connected. Now, when it is open, you can see that this is the only typing angle and it's not a bad angle, but you really can't customize it. And if you take this off, the keyboard does shut off. So even though this is Bluetooth, you lose one of the best benefits of Bluetooth, which would be typing while not connected in a set position. So you can't take this off the keyboard and still type with it, which is not the most ideal setup. But regardless, when you do have this set up, this is what it looks like and it is a good experience. The keys are excellent and I really do enjoy how Logitech creates them. They're clicky, they're tactile, they've got a nice curve in the center that makes it very comfortable to touch. They're a smooth plastic finish that are fairly matte and of course up top you have your function row. Now one thing I never like is the fact that there aren't brightness buttons on this function row. The iPad Pro obviously doesn't have physical brightness buttons while it does have physical volume buttons and this case also has physical volume buttons. So I would have liked to have seen brightness on here but not a big deal. You get your brightness, your, your media controls, you get search, keyboard, home, as well as your Bluetooth pairing. And you see the backlighting here. It's not crazy drastic but it will definitely help at night. So backlighting is of course a pro. Now this case does charge via USB-C and it will keep up to three months of battery on a single charge which is pretty great. Uh, but you can just use the same cable as your iPad because it does not include one out of the box. And then when you take it off its connector, you can lay it flat like this, which isn't the most ideal thing because it is a lot of weight, a lot of heft, but it's also not terrible. Now Logitech does say that there is an angle or a setup for using with your Apple Pencil, but it's still pretty flat and not very conducive towards writing, like it's not angled, so it's fine but not great. And then holding it in normal mode like this is also just fine but not great. So the best part of this keyboard I would say is definitely the typing experience. This keyboard is excellent and has really good battery life at over three months. So you don't have to really worry about that. But there aren't really any additional typing or viewing positions, which is unfortunate, and it's very, very bulky. Now it does have support for other styluses inside of the sleeve, and it will keep it extremely protected. But obviously it is a very bulky solution and not for everyone. It is cheaper than Apple's offering by about $50. It starts about $120, which is great. So at the end of the day, the things that I like about this better than Apple's version is that it has a much better typing experience and it has a function row. Outside of that, it doesn't really offer any more advantages except for protection and the price point versus something like Apple's keyboard case. But let me know your thoughts on this and if you have any questions, of course, I will answer those down in the comments. But thank you very much for watching.